The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Good morning, everyone. Bowser Chapman here on this very first day of September, the Thursday September action. We're looking at the Dow, Dow sharply. But let's just look at the E mini. This is the 10 minute chart. Can you believe from yesterday, uh, last night at about 7 o'clock Eastern Time, the E mini went into a trading range of about 20 points. And that lasted from 7 p.m. Eastern Time until about just on 8 o'clock where it popped up over that level, went back in, and now it's gone below it. Now the big question for me, just purely on a technical basis, is we, we've had not that many long rectangle, narrow rectangle basing. We've had a lot where it's at the top. And the rule of thumb is if it can go just above the rectangle high, that horizontal resistance level, jump made inside track repellent zone, pop up, usually it's in a leg D, and then come back and break halfway into the rectangle, there's a really good chance you're not only going to go to the lower horizontal line, the base of support of the rectangle, you're going to take it out. We we saw I had we had a stock that I was thinking would do the exact same thing on a basing level uh, about a month or so ago, and it looked like it would do that. And then what it did is it went to a D in the rectangle at the bottom, and then plunged and took out the left side low. So it was the same technique except at the bottom. So are we looking at the same thing here because it's still broken that support? It's gone down to where really three. Uh, 17.50 right now, the low is 319.50. This is the 10-minute E-mini, September E-mini chart. We're going to have a couple of weeks have to change that to the De uh, yeah, December. So I'm watching this closely. The stochastic is at 23%. The on-balance volume reversed back down. hasn't taken out the low of the day yet, but it reversed a low of the 10-minute uh, chart. But it's pulled back very sharply. And the MACD is negative and the 9s under the 14-period moving average. It means that any time today, it's a 10-minute chart, I know. But at any point, if there is – I put three – 10-minute uh, bars, so over a period of, let's say, 40 minutes, if three of those 10-minute bars are able to close above the high so far today of 3961, preferably up in the 3968 area, well, that's 40 points up from here, but of course, we just came 40 points down. Um, that would be a very good sign to say, you know what, uh, fund managers are starting to look bargains in September, money's come in, they've got to put it to work, and they're going to start to buy every balance at least for a couple of days. That's all I'm looking for right now to see what can happen because I can just tell you this, based on this 10-minute chart, if there is a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, 39.06 would be the downside target. Um, I don't think I want to see that right now. Okay, what we're looking at now is let's go back to the markets. In terms of the Dow, You've got, um, oh, I've got the VIX up here. Let me just talk about the VIX for a moment since it's here. You can see it. The VIX index is at 26.92. If at any stage between now and Tuesday, the VIX trades above 29, we're at 26.92. So 29 is really, that would say that the market is down six to 800 points. The Dow, um, the S&P is probably down 100, maybe 110, it could get a lot worse. Now, a lot of people uh, over the, the news and everything I'm hearing are talking about next week as possibly being just a, a really ugly, ugly week, maybe maybe even a crash. I Let me just, now I can get out of the VIX index and go to our charts because this is what I really want to look at. I can never dismiss something like a crash because they come out, they black swan events. They come out, usually they come out when either the 
there's such a heaviness in the market that the buildup of negativity is so intense that this becomes a climactic event. It becomes such a big event that however low you go, it is a low of absolute substance. It's a low that sees you turn around very, very sharply. I don't think we're there in the economic cycle. So all I can say is that we've got a V-shape, inverted V-shape pattern. We've got a left side, right side price time match, which has already just taken out that uh, it's not from the exact high in the Dow. That would have been the high of 34,281 on the 16th of August. That would have been right down here. But you can see that we were a little lopsided already. We came down in a much uh, uh, speedier uh, trajectory. And therefore, you've got it. you can't have that plumb line. That's useless to use that as a plumb line. Uh, but the reality is that we've actually taken out a very, support, uh, very important support level. And on a short-term basis, yes, we are short uh, the, the, uh, the Dow via the DOG uh, from the 22nd of uh, right there, from that, that from the thousand, no, that wasn't the thousand point, that was the uh, August of 22nd. That was a sharp pullback, and we are still holding the Dow Diamonds. They're getting real close to being taken out from that uh, low that we, we, we entered in. We've been many times, but the last one was back in, I can get to it right now, that's the best way to do it, talk apples to apples. The new long was at 306.98 on the 15th of July. We've taken a, two, uh, a couple of parts off, uh, up at 318, a little higher. Now what we're looking at is uh, we might be taken out there, but we've had, uh, for those people who are still long and equal weighted, uh, the short side, they just haven't had a big pullback because you haven't made money, you haven't lost money uh, from when we entered everything. But at the same time, if it's a fresh position or you or you went heavier on the DOG side, so now you're making money. But for people who just got short, who bought my new, a newsletter fairly recently, then you've only got the short side, and that's working. And I, I have to tell you that the, I, I'm looking at the monthly chart because September's just started, so August is done. That candle, Chapman Wave inverted uh, Roman candle, if there is a price point at any moment through September where on a, I have to put it, it should be on a shorter time frame, but you're about monthly. So I should go to a weekly, but I usually go to a daily. And I'm just going to say on a two-day basis, it's actually three days because two out of three days needs to close above 30, 33,700. If, if that happens at any point in September, That'll say, great, now you can have a very quick run towards the 34,000 level, 34,281 actually. Um, it's a big ask because the monthly chart has now for the first time got the, um, has gone to a pink. Nine period exponential moving average has gone under the 14 period moving average. So the month is almost at a sell signal. The week is in a sell mode and the date is in a sell mode. So I give you the levels that you have to watch. I have to watch very closely for the next uh, three or four market sessions. Thank you. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's Daily Market Newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'll go super fast. You have to measure the amount of nervousness right now. We're really up there. We are, this is, this is very high. We're now down 273 in the Dow, 31,235. And I uh, would not be surprised if we're just about to be taken out of our more intermediate term long that we've had for quite some time. So only the DOG now, the reverse is starting to work. We'll have to watch this very closely. Now, there are a couple of things that I want you to talk about. Uh, let me just run these quickly because SMH is, is so important. This is the semiconductors. Look at that big move down. Down 8.64 at 205. A minus 4%, and that's because NVIDIA, advanced micro devices, NVIDIA came out with even worse news. And that was the leader. Now, look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart went above the Chapman Wave inside track and, and down channel uh, resistance. It went to a support level. Now it's way down, and the monthly chart looks very poor. And I, I can just go, my contention always is, that the semiconductors let us up and let us down throughout the last 10, 12, 15 years. It just constantly does that. It's really been lagging since the high of January of 2022, which was the market top, which was the Dow top. Uh, 318.69, that double top. You remember it made a, a high a week of January the 7th of 318.69, and the high of the 20. 6th of November was 318.82, missed it by what 20 cents, less than 20 cents. Now what we're looking at is uh, the bottom that we that we saw at 189.94, the 5th of July. Uh, we're not that far away. Uh, we're 19, 16 points, uh, and we're moving at eight, eight points a day or something. So this is, says to me that in terms of the you know, I like to look at tides, and sometimes you can get uh, the tide is moving higher, but you can get waves, and some of the waves can really be exceptionally high, or they're just kind of moderate. And sometimes you can get that double that double wave, and you think that it's even more powerful. But what happens is that it kind of uh, negates some of the strength, so it looks like it's going to be powerful, but then it fades much quicker. I like to look at the waves in, in terms of visual imaging. And what we're looking at right now in terms of waves is that this is building up to a point where the stochastics at 3%, 
The MACD is very weak. The, the histogram, that's the distance between these two lines, is moving uh, even sharper to the downside. You've got the nine period way under the 14 period in the daily chart. The uh, Over the last two weeks, you've seen the nine slip under the 14 period moving up in the weekly. So we're in an acceleration phase right now. So when people talk about next week as being an ugly week, if we close horribly today, and then horribly Friday, you could have this long weekend and the news will be just unbearable. I think, yes, we could have some major, major collapse. But to me, that doesn't really answer the question. Have we resolved some of the semiconductor? Are, are we even getting to a phase that you can say we've, we're now in, in the position where the semiconductors might be able to make money because they can raise prices, but in fact, we're starting to see the chips coming online, a lot more chips. Or is it going to be a dearth of chips? And now we're really stuck that the automobile industry, look at Ford, uh, Ford pulling back uh, from its high that was made just recently. And that was a, a pretty sharp move from around about 1061 on the 5th of July to the high that was made at 16.26 on the 16th. And now we're at 14 on the 200 period moving average. So there, if you look at this and you're looking at, uh, let's go to General Motors, just put the two together. General Motors also made a peak here, very sharp move up. I went to the 41 area, trading now at 37. Not such a big move down. I'm, I'm beginning to put the whole picture in place in my mind saying there is a good chance. Look, we've got deflation. If you're looking at crude, crude oil prices, crude oil prices have just... A dollar sixty down is eighty seven point ninety one, and look at the weekly chart. This is not a very strong weekly chart at all. Nine period moving under the fourteen. MACD very weak. Stochastic at fifteen percent on balance volume, kind of okay. Uh, this just says to me there's a really good chance that crude oil is going to go down. If you look at all the commodities, look wheat. Wheat is uh, off its most recent high, but it is in, look at that weekly chart. Uh, more than a one to one to the downside at 827 down for today, but it was trading in the continuous contract at 1408, 14, oh, was that 1408, 1409 and a quarter on the continuous contract the week of 11th of March. I mean, that look at that straight up, and now it's taking this time, but it's come down, down, down. Look at soybean. So, if you try to put this as a package together and say, where are we? Forget about crashes, forget about cycles, forget about the moon, forget about Chapman Wave, forget about uh, Fibonacci, volume, whatever you want. Just forget about it. Look at the chart. The chart says soybeans is in the upper rectangle. It has now gone to the top in a peak D. It's pulled back in the arch formation and has taken out the halfway marker. Uh, and that says there's a chance that soybean trading down 14 at 14.08 could in fact go down to the 1376-1350 level. Look at corn, corn, as we say over here. Corn's holding the other highs. It's got the Chapman Wave inside track. This is the falling axe formation with an inside track repellent zone that is just there in the weekly chart. Look, there it is. And it hasn't broken out upside and hasn't broken down. It's in a peak C in the monthly chart. This is the strongest of all those commodities. And lo and behold, at 867, down just three points today, it's trading within, yeah, uh, not too bad from the high that was made uh, up at the four days ago. It hit 67, let me just give you that exactly, 680, 683.5. All right, so now it's pulled back just a little bit. Look at, so, look at sugar. Sugar is down at the lows. It's got this arch formation as well. It looks like it's going. So when I look at the DBA, which we have, the DBA, uh, this is the DBA agricultural fund from the 1377 level, and it's gone all the way to 23. It's trading right now 20.54. We've taken little bits off. We've actually added to it. Um, it's holding okay at the 200 period moving average, but it's saying that commodities, in fact, have had a really big pullback. So all those things that Powell's looking at says, what are we doing 
we are looking at interest rates. And what is the interest rate doing? There's the dreaded H pattern in the weekly chart is trading down at 109.29 down 261. Oh, I'll have to go to it. Someone asked me yesterday if I could show it and I said, uh, it was a little late because and also I had too many charts up. I didn't want to add this extra one. But look, here's the US dollar pulling back, but we really, really need to look at the TNX.x. That's the uh, yeah, we go. So this is a potential trap and weave instant reseller. This should be a Friday. It's not as a Thursday, so I don't want to spend too much time. But the technique of the trap and wave says at a peak D, if within three bars, you take out the left side high, use an alternate count. Because when you get to G, it could be G slash C, you could pull back and then go to the D, and then you've got to be somewhat careful. So here we are, G slash C, and lo and behold, uh, what did I do? I missed one. This is D, E, so this is F slash B. Oops, I just I skipped the stage. F slash B, and this is a G slash C. A big move up, going towards the highs. Oh, there's a lot to talk about with yield. I think we're getting close to at least some kind of a rebound. I'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, well, give me a second. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a left side, right side price time map from the low that was made at 3908.75. Oh, click, click, click. Have I got this? Yes, I did. Oh, where is this mouse? Especially changed mice because it's, uh oh, not working. Let's see this one. Why would that one not be working? All right, that says uh, right here. I have to move it just a little bit to the right. No. Okay, it says that if this is going to work, nothing's working here. Oh, I think there's a lot of buying going on. Yeah, we are. I did change. Thank, uh, thanks for the information the other day. I was going to try it. 
and I never had a chance to change the uh, trade station settings. Um, uh, but I, I, I will. I just I, I didn't want to mess with anything. I'm going to be away next week. I don't want to be away and have a whole bunch of things that I have to worry about. There's enough always to worry about. If if uh, um, uh, let's see, the energy, if the electric uh, place, uh, the utilities companies here does anything, or Comcast does anything and does all the repair work that they've been doing, and I'm away and the, my computer gets shut down. I'm away. I use this my desktop here. Wherever I am in the world, I always go. Uh, this is over 20 years. I uh, I've always used uh, my PC to be able to get to my work, so I can do it every single day, no matter where I am. But if my computer's down, ay ay ay, I have to have somebody. I haven't had anybody yet, but I have to have somebody come in and restart it. Ah. Oh. I'm not looking forward to anything like that happening. So, okay. So, we're looking at by, I'm, I, I'm sorry, taking time now, 10, by about 10.34, the high of 39.36 should be tested. Uh, what are we at 10.30? What are we doing now? We're at 10.31. So, yeah, about another six minutes or so. And if that's taken out, and if there is a move about 39.40, uh, during my show, that will be the first time today that I'm actually seeing what I wanted to see earlier on, and that is that this particular narrow rectangle is going to do the exact opposite on the downside what it does on the on the on the upside. And this is now a work in progress. Remember, I'm all about techniques that. Th they invent themselves. I have no idea. Did I ever think that a narrow rectangle could produce all the different results? We had spectacular results in the IWM. You can go on the weekly charts. You can, just so many areas where we went to that long rectangle popped up and usually was to a D. And then we took out the left side low and went much lower. So this is just a work in progress. But I have over the last... I'd say six to ten months. We've been talking a lot about the narrow rectangle formulation. Uh, that, that really is, is very important. And what I am looking at here is does it work on the opposite side? Now, we've broken the base of this narrow rectangle in, in the 10-minute chart. Is there a chance that we're going to now, not only do you have to take out the highs, in this case, around about the 39, uh, 38 area, you have to take out the that peak C failure, peak C minus, failure that was right there, uh, which acted like a D, and that was at 39.61. There's just a lot to go on. I don't want to get too excited. It's the reason why we, we did put in a long position today in one of the indices. It's just a one-to-one, -one, and I widened the stop because I figured it would be very volatile. But at the same time, on the short side, we've got the, we've, we are short. We're short to Dow. Um, and I don't know, I don't think we've been taken out of our diamonds I don't think. I don't even want to look right now. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, maybe we have. Uh, then, then we have to restart. But it means that if, uh, we've released a ton of cash that we've got already for anything. Yeah, and in this market, you just got it. Cash is cash is king. Just like the dollar. Let's see what the dollar is doing right here. So that's the TNX. So I, I'm still not 100% sure that I want to go to. Oh, I'll add the X to five, the fifth chart. Uh, here we go. Fifth chart coming up. What are we looking at? We're looking at. Good luck. Good luck. There we go. Okay, coming up, this is the, the triple yield chart with the three time frames, this, uh, the, the three indices. That's the uh, TNX, which is the 10 years brown. The TYX is the uh, white, which is the 30-year T bond yield. And the FVX is the five-year cyan-colored T note yield. Please come up. Oh, I can see I made a move. Okay, that's all right. See this? I said there's going to be a cup, potential cup and handle, not one of my favorite patterns, but a cup and handle in the weekly uh, triple yield chart. And that just suggests that there's a chance that we do test the 34.72. Remember, it's 3.472 yield, but then they type it as the full number, 
and it's at 33.96 right now. So I, it's on one of my favorite patterns. If you're trading it, it's a great pattern. If you get the lows, and uh, Investors Business Daily has a whole, a whole panoply of things that you have to do to get that right. But it's not one of my favorite patterns because the cup and handle invariably, if it makes a new recovery high, it comes right back into the handle. The Chapman wave cup and ladle, they go straight through the left side high in a leg C, sometimes a D and sometimes a B, essentially says, you know what, you can go higher, a lot higher, but until you make your peak D, there's a chance that that 34.55, in this case, left side high of the November the 2nd, 2018, that, that that will be tested. But it's a different pattern also. It's a very positive pattern. This one is a little bit more iffy. Okay, so what we're looking at here is that the yields are all rallying. But I seem to see a sequence here that tells me that the cyan, um, that the five-year is higher than the 10-year and the 10-year is higher than the 30-year. And that just says you've got your inverted yield curve. This is, this, is, this is what the Fed gets nervous about. But at the same time, look what happened to the Wood iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF weekly chart. Look at that reversal down. It was going to look like it was holding nice, nicely near the rectangle propeller shaft midpoint. Said it's repelled down. Look what's happened to the HGX, the Philadelphia Housing Index, down. So, okay, let's get out of this. Uh, so I'm suggesting to you that yields are in play and that you've got to, you've got to keep that in mind for whatever you, you're uh, training. And I think it will definitely hurts the uh, housing sector. Yes, to all, let's just get out of that. Now, uh, questions that have come in. Uh, you, you, you. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the UUP uh, in the den, uh, Jerry says, uh, UUP now selling, so the down move is fading. Okay, let's just see what the UUP is doing. Uh, but you see the UUP has made that leg D. That's what we were waiting for. Now the core is the dollar index. We are still on the dollar index. So the d dollar index, I... I usually don't base it on the derivative, that is the UUP, which is the power series DB US bull. Uh, we were long from 23, way back in 2020. Um, and we've only taken two little bits off. So this is just saying to me, yes, that's the leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, and leg C is extended. It was just a few days, it would have made a peak C and this would have been leg D. No, this is leg C. I can't count it any other way because 2409 is long. Hmm, I guess I could. I could say F slash C. No, it's a leg C. That is good. The gas looks good. I, I still think that the dollar is in play, that the dollar will go to the leg D, the dollar itself. Oh, it has. Leg D in the dollar. Good. Ooh, now what are we going to do? I'll be back in a moment. We want to take questions. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. I, I get uh, most of them, I, I don't get uh, too many and, and questions about the jump wave technique in the sense that uh, more, uh, just questions about the technique itself. But the criticism, uh, one criticism is, so the weekly chart is, so uh, is a chap wave is fading because the weekly chart is going down. I'm not the chart. The chart is the chart. I'm doing the analysis for the chart. Look, I said this is a peak C in the one minute and that there should be, if there's going to be a left side, right side price time match, we should get to the left side high of uh, 10 o'clock this morning of 39.36. Uh, within, I think, it was, I said 10.36, 10.33, I think it said, but, well, it stalled at 10, uh, at 39.31, at 10.29, try to run it, try to run it, and the 200 period moving average reversed the price, so it didn't make a D. Is that my fault? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that is that the Chamway fault? No, I said, this is the pattern that we usually look for. This is the price, the price that we look at. We also have a chap wave inside wedge target resistance line. If everything works out, then that's what we should be getting to. The fact that it failed just underneath it is not my fault. It's just that this is the analysis is what you expect. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'm not the price. So that's the same thing for the weekly chart. I've done money management for my subscribers, and we've done very, very well because even though, here's a, here's a good example, CF Industries, <clears throat> we're in it at 95. We took lots of little bits off. We did this Chapman Wave stalk leg formation, which then became the one-to-one. -one. At the doji high of 119.60, I said, uh-oh, be careful. It could pull back sharply. So it's pulling back sharply. It's now at 101. 18 points, that's, uh, that's about 14% uh, decline, 15% decline. And is that my fault? No, I did the analysis. I said, Doji, be careful, and we pull back. I mean, that's all you can do, right? Um, and sometimes you give up some, it could have been, we could have got out right here, but I still think that CF Industries Holdings, hydrogen, nitrogen products for clean energy and fertilizer emissions and abatement, it's still a good area to be in, so I want to keep a core position. So it's money management. So I'm just trying to point out that don't blame the waveform. The waveform is doing the best it can. and uh, But price is, the, price is the arbiter of the trend. And that's the reason why at this particular point in the Dow, I said, uh-oh, Chad Wave sign and dojis. We've got to be careful. It held for two days, and then the third day it was negative. The next day, we went short. So we've, uh, this is from 33,000, about almost 600 to where we are now, 31,240. So you can't blame a technique if it's working. 
And what's, this is a doji candle. So you've got to watch the doji candle of the weekly. But I love the fact that it was above the Chapman Wave support area, which became, sorry, resistance area, which became support. Now it's not. So you've got to deal with it. That's what we've been doing. That's what the whole methodology is about. It's about money management. You want to be in the game. You want to keep as much of your capital as possible, even under t uh, very trying conditions. Okay. So the next thing is, you're learning a lot about chips. What am I learning about chips? This is a semiconductor index. Been negative since the very top, the double top of 380, the double top of 318.69. We have not been short. I should have been short, but I wasn't short. But we did play this fantastic move right here in the three times long for really good profits in the uh, SOXL. And then we got out. I yes, I should have switched to short. No question about it. Not only that, how many times have I been talking about NVIDIA giving a high, a double top, peak C1, C2, uh, just even on the short term in August? So the, I, what do I have to learn about chips? I've been talking about it. I've been talking, being the one that's talking about where, where chips go for 15 years at least. When, wherever they go, the market is generally going to follow, which is one of the reasons where we've had a very big cash position. And yes, we do try to get longs. And yes, they could be in areas, even in select areas that are, that are negative, you can have some stocks that move up. So I'm just saying, I, what do I, all right, I don't have to discuss it. I think I've discussed the, the chip sector in absolute detail for a very long time. And uh, now I'm looking at the weekly, the monthly chart. The weekly chart is making the H pattern. It's going to be really important over the next uh, month, September, that the low that was made at uh, 189.94 on the 5th of July holds, because if it doesn't hold, that's that's key to the general market. It means it can have really good rallies. And here's another thing. How many times have I said this is very unusual for a peak B in the monthly chart in the S&P when all the others had given D, E, or even F tops? How could just one give you a, a, a major signal? We have to watch it very closely. And we are still watching it. Look, from the low of 21.91 in, in March of 2020 to the high of 48.18.62, uh, in uh, in January, <clears throat> that's a huge move. We haven't even, we've given back what is this about a little more than a third, right? Uh, from 48.18 to 36.36 in the S and P. And since this is now the eighth month, we're now about to go into the ninth month of the correction. This is one of the longest corrections we've had. Have a look at this for a correction going back to. 2000 and look at that one 2000 and uh, the high of 2134 May of 2015 held all the way through to the low of February of 2016 at 1810 that was a 320 point uh, decline so yeah look at that it was a long and it became a long oval pattern that had a breakout of more than one to one so, yes, you can take time. We had little time. We had about five months of the, the correction that was at 287.72 back in, uh, I forgot to put the date, somewhere around February of 20, 2018. Uh, yeah, February of 2018. And it lasted until December. Oh, I didn't realize that. No, come on. That's not right. What? Oh, that was oh, the wrong one. Yeah, that one lasted for one, two, three, four, five, about six, maybe seven or eight months. And then we broke out to 29.40. And then that was in, uh, wasn't that November or so? October. And then we pulled back to 234.6, 234.6, 600 points. So that was December. So, yeah, these things can last. This is the ugliest one that we've had. We had a very short one that was in February of 2020 from 33.93, a 35% decline. This is looking more concerted. There's no question about it. Dow's down 273. So um, within that context, let me get back to the story. The questions have come in. So could I follow up on the Amazon uh, discussion yesterday? Sure, I can. Oh, yes, there it is. Okay. 
All right, here we go. So the S&P is now down 49 in leg C to the downside. This is the low that I was looking at as key support of 39.10 July the 26th. And now we're below that in leg C. Stochastic's only at 2%. I think we're getting close to at least some kind of a, a reversal, a bounce. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. One more segment to go. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. In this segment, I'm just going to go through a couple of things because tomorrow I want to spend my overview for the coming week while I'm away. I'll be back uh, to do my show. My newsletter will go out almost every day. But I'll be back on, where was it? Uh, I'll be back September the... 12th evening, so 13th, I'll be doing my show the 13th. So I'll be away a week and a day. So what we're looking at is junk is down $1.17 at 90.72. This is the Spider Barclays high yield bond. It made that peak. Do you remember I spent a little time with that uh, quite some time ago, maybe four, five, six months ago? I said, uh oh, junk has made a peak. D. In the monthly chart at 100 and somewhere around about 110 ish. And uh, that goes together with uh, J and K, H Y H Y G. H Y G is uh, the, uh, this is the iShares, uh, iBox high yield core bond ETF. That only made a peak. See, I could have called it a C1, C2, but I went with junk to say that I went with uh, the J and K because uh, that was the same pattern, but it made a D. 
And yeah, we are. A deep pullback. This is serious stuff. And the H pattern, that makes that whole area of the 73's key, key support. And yeah, we are. 73.65, uh, the low that was made in the doji candle low of the, 70, the week of the 17th of June of 72.89. Start to close under 72. That's just a completely ball, different ball game. Now you're going to the Chamber of Roman candle of uh, May. Oh, sorry, that was March, I believe it was. Yeah, must have been. March of, sorry, Dan, I didn't do that with Trade Station. I should have done it. Today's got one of those days. It's uh, not easy. Oh, there we are. This is March of 2020 at 67.52. So this is very serious. I do not take this lightly. It's a reason why we've raised cash. And it's really important, even if we can put balances. It's not all done. We've got a lot to do. So be very careful. Cash is king. Select individual positions if they show technicals are good i i think that that's the way to go be very selective i'll be back tomorrow 